why does coronavirus have those spikes whenever it's depicted on TV? You know, it's interesting. Um, those are actually basically like a key and they open little locks on cells. And normally an animal virus opens the locks on the animal cell, but not a human cell. And so normally we have diseases, they don't go to animals, they have diseases, they don't come to us. But every now and then there's one like this that will open the locks on an animal cell and on a human cell. And so the viruses get in our body and they have all those little, those little spikes on the ball and it floats around in our, usually where we get sick is gonna be right here where we breathe it in, right? Uh -huh. Our sore throat, we get a nose sinus ingest, infection or lung infection because we're breathing in or drinking in a virus and it, okay. and it gets lodged in somewhere and it attacks those cells in that area. So those little fingers line up with our cell and when they touch one of the locks on our cell, it op if it fits, it opens up and lets in all the DNA and RNA inside the virus. Now that human cell is a little factory for the virus and it shoots out two more viruses. And then those two find two cells and that one cell continues to shoot out viruses for hours. One, one human cell might duplicate coronavirus 100,000 times. And viruses are so small, 100 million can fit on the head of a pin. So imagine how much could be in one cough droplet. Yes. If, somebody, if somebody sneezes and you feel anything, it could be just, it could be a lot. Because 100 million could fit on the little head of a pin.